All right, guys, we're playing some Garen top lane in the new patch, and I'm going to teach you guys exactly on how you can carry with Garen. So this game, we're playing Garen into a Riffin. What we have is the Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Alas, and we also have Bone Plating, very crucial, and then we also have Unflinching, together with also a Dawn's Blade. Now, this is going to be a very interesting game because um, what I'm planning to do is showcase to you guys the best Garen build. Um, it's a very, very, very good snowball build. Also worth noting, it's not a Riffin, bro. It's a Malfi. Are you kidding? All right, dude. I am not very happy with this matchup because I have the wrong roots against them. Hmm. We'll figure things out. <clears throat> Let's see here. We'll get level 2. Alright, oh, so we get level 2 now. It's going to be a very tough game. Um, mainly because we are currently running the bone plating. As well as having armor in my runes. Normally, in this matchup, you'd be running um, either Nimbus with Celerity... Or you would be looking for, like, second wind. <clears throat> also having magic resist, but yeah, we don't have that now. So it's going to turn more into a farming lane temporarily. Probably level 6 is going to get worse. Maybe not, it depends. <clears throat> there you go. Now, I've already uh, told this to my, you know, other YouTube channel as well, but I, I suppose I'll just say, like, once more here for the other people, right? Um, for the next upcoming days, if not weeks, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but as, you, as you've noticed, we are using a different microphone. Um, the main microphone I have is broken. I can't use it. I was recording a video, and it turns out that my uh, voice was glitched. Well, kind of. There was some noise in the background, which was unavoidable. Tried everything I could to fix it. Couldn't fix it. <clears throat> Either way, it was it was going to destroy your ears at some point. It was not good. So, temporarily took that microphone away. Got a different one for now. It's a worse one, but it does the job, I guess. <laughs> I think I might be ganked by... Fi oh, no. Never mind. But yeah, that also means that you guys are now hearing my keyboard as well as my mouse, which you normally don't, because my better microphone hides it. But yeah, it's a temporary solution, so yeah. Every anything is better than my headset microphone, let's put it that way. <laughs> headset microphones are really bad, I can't use it <laughs> for making videos, so yeah. Let's see. So, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to be purchasing pickaxe. I'm going to showcase you why. So, I talk about this quite a lot. Um, having a pickaxe straight away first item is one of the best things you can do. Because the value for pickaxe is insanely hard to get. Like, it's not... Definitely not easy. If you can purchase this first... I encourage you to do it. Now, of course, it really depends on the matchup. Like, Malphite matchup, you don't really need Berserker Screech for a rush. You know, that's where um, Pickaxe is going to do the job. <clears throat> if you can't afford Pickaxe early on in the game, you can still go for Berserker Screech rush. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Oh, I still got it. The most important thing in this matchup is that we don't fall behind in terms of farm. We need to stay either equal or ahead because if we happen to fall behind that way, we're not going to make it back in this game anymore. So that's absolutely top priority. I want to see if I can um, do a rotation to mid lane. Maybe uh, take the chance here. Okay. Well, that rotation is not going to work. I'm going to go back immediately. 
If Riffin was going to stay alive there, we could have uh, easily turned it around three against two. That's why the rotation. Actually, it's not so bad. Good. I think I could probably get an instant kill right here. It depends. That's a joke. My uh, E did not land. I think I might be ganked. Gotta be careful right now. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'm getting ganked by Fiddlesticks. Told you. I'm not very surprised to be honest. Let's see what Malphite's gonna do. I definitely can't walk up because Fiddle Six is up there. Actually. He used E so I can move up now. Good. That's a really good one. That's a Fiddle Six up here. I am straight up unlucky. <laughs> I am dead already. Yep. How unlucky is that actually? And he flashes. Kidding. I've actually been unlucky twice in a row. Oh, he has to get to shove the wave. Oh, I'm kidding. That's so sad actually. I am not happy with that, dude. Absolutely not. There's actually been two times where I should have killed Malphite, but I wasn't able to. <clears throat> At least my jungler is going for the Drake, so we're getting something in return for this. There's no Fiddlesticks ultimate, so he's not going to stay. I don't have to worry about that. So funny though, we were actually going to get ahead right now, and then unfortunately Fiddlesticks comes in and saves the day for him. He said. Let's go for the shove. Can't afford to lose that one. <laughs> no cannon losses this game yet. <laughs> Let's get some play. Unfortunately, we'd like to go for another one. I have no vision on Malphite, so it's kind of hard to do. Yeah, there it is. We are getting very close to um, to the Geld Force. Unfortunately, like, look at this, man. This guy is going for Sheen. I think he's going to go for Iceborne. This is not the type of matchup that you want to run into. But you know what the worst thing is? The Fiddlesticks pushed him ahead. So there's like a level difference now. That's one of the most annoying things, honestly, to uh, to deal with when the guy gets an advantage. Yep. That's kind of what happens when a Malphite gets a lead. I need to stay away from ma uh, like max range from the uh, the mall fight. <clears throat> I've already like I've already been wondering like why is mall fight actually that strong? Well, this guy is actually running little tempo. That's why his attack speed is insane. I was already cursed like where the damage is, is exactly coming from, but it's apparently coming from the uh, that rune gives him a lot of attack speed. Little tempo, like no matter who you uh, uh, use it on, it's such a broken rune. Even a champion that normally doesn't use it becomes overpowered using that rune. So yeah, it might surprise you. But even tanks are able to use it, like effectively. Kind of surprises, guys, even going for a reset, bro. Just gave me a free, uh, free plate. Not bad. The second that Malphite starts roaming, which I assume he's probably going to do at some point now, we're going to try getting another plate. 
or even going for the Gale Force. Now, Gale Force is obviously a rune, which uh, I mean, an item which doesn't f uh, function super well into a Malphite, but it does help me um, snowball the rest of the game. Oh, he's dead. Lots of ultimates, but it's this is really good. Like, this is insanely good. So yeah, even in a counter matchup, um, we're pretty much fine. You will see like straight away after lane phase. Let's get this stuff too. Yep, there is the uh, the TP. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, now we're getting very slowly to the 14 minute mark. The second that we are getting to the 14 minute mark, we're gonna try and snowball the entire game. Like we're gonna be roaming like and trying to uh, trying to snowball mid lane and bot lane. The second we make it to 14 minutes. Now the reason why 14 minutes is so important is, is because of the plates. We don't want to give this guy free plates if that makes sense. Maybe we can actually get another wave, because I think that Malphite is going... Oh, staying around. Look at that build. Nah, I will not use the blue trinket. We're looking at the Drake here, because it's 15 seconds. Good. I'm happy that this guy actually shoved it in. Let's place a ward down here. <clears throat> ah, he cancelled. Okay. Perfect. This is a very good situation to be in because we actually managed to push down the wave. And now we can rotate to mid lane and, and also here. We'll be getting another Drake for free. Even if they start fighting, we still win it because we get the rotation. Oh, really? I'll just press R down. Gotta make sure that we actually secure it. Now we go back top. Every single time that a Drake is about to, well, not I like not just start, but I mean, the second that it spawns, you want to try and set it up for your team. Try and get like a one versus uh, or five versus four done. You always want to try and outnumber the enemy team when it, when the objective spawns, so you know there's going to be a team fight. <clears throat> there we go. And we get a tower on top of that as well. Of course, I'm getting ganked by Fiddlesticks. And I'm dead. And I might just be unlucky. Okay, I still got him. Cool. So we got tower and we got Fiddlesticks. Good. This is definitely, uh, definitely worth it. Let's go for this. I kind of want to go pickaxe and then going for longsword because the the next purchase is going to be much easier to do for me. There you go. Got central taking care of top lane. This is honestly such uh, such a difficult game because we are literally playing with the wrong runes into a counter matchup. It, like it's it's terrible. It's not okay. It's very unfortunate to be in a counter matchup while having the wrong stuff. It's so weird to see a Riffin being played in mid lane instead of top lane. It's very unusual. There we go. Maybe we can also get some jungle camps. 
There's the camp. We're gonna steal that real quick. This is huge. Apparently, Riffin saw it because there was a ward down here. <clears throat> Let me check where this guy's going. Uh huh. Then apparently Blitzcrank is down here. This is a such a tough game. I am not gonna lie to you. Like we're getting absolutely crushed by fiddlesticks. Um, this game and the mall fight. Not exactly Malfa, but it's just a counter matchup, it's just annoying to deal with. Then we finally get red buff, and it turns out that Blitzcrank is roaming here. Like, completely unexpected. And we constantly have to deal with like a warm, like 1 versus 2 or 1 versus 3. We're heading ball lane. Actually, we're heading mid lane. Ezra's already rotating ball lane. We should be able to burst uh, Riffin instantly, but she also has lethality, so she could do technically the same. There we go. I bet you these guys are rotating. Yep. A moon was dead. <laughs> I'm surprised that a moon even lived through that, man. He was like one versus three. Okay. Unfortunately. There are so many Fiddlesticks players around, man. This is the second game in a row I see Fiddlesticks. Hmm. The Drake spawns in 15. So I don't want to overextend for this guy. Yeah, it gets away. If he hits the stun, we can still kill this guy. I'm gonna keep my ultimate. Honestly, one of the most important things, if you can save your ultimate on Garen, save it. Because the the ultimate is one of the most valuable things. You don't have if you don't have to use it, don't use it. There you go. Now this game is looking good because we can now go Drake. And we also get Collector now. Yeah, unfortunately, he actually got the Drake there. Nice. Very good. Kill transfers to Umumu. That's fine. I'll take that, of course. And then, we're rotating bot lane. Nice. He didn't get caught by the Q. I also don't think that he was going to engage, to be honest. <clears throat> because I believe that there was, like, no one on the Mumu right there. Oh, wait, there was Kai'Sa. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I will not reset yet, because Kai'Sa is uh, shoving bot lane right now. Which means that the wave will be, well, going down on our tower. I want to actually farm it. Just to be efficient. There you go. So I took the camp, so we're not wasting any time. And now we're gonna go reset. We don't know if Blitzcrank is like somewhere hidden right here. We don't know. Uh, so it's better if we back off and just play it out safe. Let's go bottom. 
So this is the build that I've been talking about. You go for Gale Force first item, then go collect the secondary, and then third item is going to be Infinity Edge. It's a very risky setup for Garen, obviously, because you're not really as tanky as you normally are. Um, but in return, you have much more, much more ability to kill people. So much easier to do. Oh. And then I'm in a one versus two again. Excellent. I suppose I'm probably dead. Yeah. I'm alive. <laughs> How? Really? I thought there was someone coming down here to try and help Malfi. Turns out there was no one. Unbelievable. I refuse to believe that, bro. Nice. I am so impressed that there was literally no one that was thinking like, oh yeah, let's roam towards uh, let's roam towards this guy. Let's kill him. No. Malfoy was on himself. Okay. Impressive. Oh, we can purchase my item now. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> so let's go for uh, top lane wave the dragon is spawning in one minute and 45 so it's a very smart choice right now to go top lane because if we can um, shove this all the way down here and then the drake spawns we can then directly rotate and maybe do like a five against four that's what i'm aiming for at least i'll try and outnumber them on the drake once it starts Nice catch. Riffin's bottom. We're, oh, that's a ward. We're gonna be cleaning up. Oh, I think I'll still probably get him. Should've used the Q. Nice. Riffin was not even there. Really good. Let's go for instant reset. We're um, we're now going to be building a Lord Dominix. <clears throat> I don't think we will catch him. Riffin's got yeah, yeah. We definitely won't. I'll take that camp right there. Again, just going for jungle camps. Because I got the time to do it. You see, like, this Garen build that I'm using is so much better. So much better than the Stridebreaker build, honestly. Like, you have so much more kill pressure. We're lucky they're going to pass through here. An ally has been slain. Shut down. Yeah, got him. At least we got the Kaiser, so we got something out of this. Is there a blue buff? Oh, nice. There's a blue buff. I'll take that instantly. These two are a problem. Wait. <clears throat> We're gonna have to try something out here because they're they're going for the, the Baron plus their Maybe we can actually get them right here, maybe. I'm kinda waiting for my team to prepare as well. So that I don't have to take a risk by myself. Because they definitely have enough CC. <clears throat>
Maybe. Uh, yeah, we can definitely catch this guy. Yeah, I'm not gonna chase it down, buddy. I'll flash it. You see, like, a very hard gain that we had in the early game? Now it's starting to turn into our favor because of this build. Without this build, I would have not got this far in this game, believe me. kills we have 4.6k gold dude <laughs> we're farming them easily i'm probably dead what she threw the other way <laughs> that sucks not catching the kaisa today plus she also exhausted me so i was being slowed couldn't walk away anymore I'm, um, I'm actually pretty sure if she didn't land, or what, she didn't have the exhaust, I would have probably just gone it away, just fine. Let's see, I'm gonna sell D-Blade, and then last item is gonna be... I wanna go Black Cleaver because that counters uh, Malphite. However, it's smarter if I go for Deadman's Blade, because then I have the movement speed. <clears throat> I think we're gonna stick with Deadman's Blade. I want to go Black Lever, but it's not smart. Better go with this, yeah. Let's do it. We also go for Red Potion. There you go. We're going to be heading a bot lane. <clears throat> There you go. I don't really want a team fight to happen. I think that we don't have what it what it takes to win a team fight. Nope. I didn't want a team fight. I really didn't want to. I knew it the second that Amumu was going to try and queue in, but we were going to end up losing it. First of all, because there was like one guy missing, one of us were going back, but secondly, like, they got a Malphite ultimate. And a Fiddle ultimate. I actually want to win this game off of the side lanes. Way better. Their team fighting is way better than what we have. Literally. Well, let's purchase another one. Drake's plus in 10. We should be able to win this team fight. If we start one right now, these guys are all 50%. We should be able to win this team fight. Hmm. Oh, this is so winnable, dude. Actually, yo, dude, let me tell you, I was, I was legit, I was going to press E in the center of like four people, and I was going to kill all of them, but like, <coughs> the second I was going to all in, like, using my Q right here, I got, like, I got CC. I couldn't cast my E in the middle of their team. If I managed to get E off right there and then get CC'd afterwards, I would have wrecked everybody. Like, that was insanely close. <clears throat> I 
Okay, we're gonna try um, getting back to the sidelines, hopefully getting uh, stuff done here. If we can force Malphite to be bot lane, I am pretty sure that my team should be able to win because Malphite is the reason why team fights are a big struggle. Also, Fiddlestick is one of them, but <clears throat> I believe in my team, you know, they should be able to win as long as Malphite is not ex existing there. Push next wave. One thousand damage. I love that. We gotta be careful now because obviously all of them are missing. They could be here, they could be somewhere else. Bro, lucky. I'm about to die, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> There's people rotating here. Yep. Place it safe. Yeah. Getting that kill on Riffin was so crucial. Maybe my teammates can still carry this one. <laughs> Ball fight ultimate, then Kaiser flight after it. Oh man, such a tough game, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, uh, dealing with a counter matchup in the early game, and also getting like, like, perma camp. We still managed to get like 18 kills this game. Still managed to almost make it this game. It was really close. But yeah. At the end of the day, like, their late game was way stronger than ours, because, yeah, we, we simply don't have the team comp like they do. They, they have, like... Such an OP late game. But uh, anyway, this is Garantop. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.